What is up guys, it's Pretty Master here and welcome to my loot from or profit from 40,000 beans from player owned farms. Um, I've also kind of got a little guide in here as to how I did it and how you can make the money from it as well. So if you do enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you're notified of all my future videos and don't forget to hit the like button if you do enjoy. There's also a link to my discord server in the description down below. Enjoy the video! So the quickest way to get beans is if you have been farming player and farms and you've got your elder animals that you finished off and you just remove them from your pens you can just trade them in at one of the people that wants to buy them and you get like for a dragon you get like 1400 beans each which is a massive amount obviously yeah, only once a week you get the dragons but the other ones are a little bit quicker but obviously you get less beans from them I'll just teleport it off so then once you've got your beans you just head over to the farmers market uh, then in the animals and beans bit, it's the sun-dried beans here, they're 400 each, which is very very cheap and you can get loads of them with your beans and make a decent amount of money from it. So once you've bought your beans, which you can get from Mana Farm, the farmer's market there, they're 400 each, so you can get 100 beans for 40,000 and that's not a lot to actually build up, it only takes a couple of weeks if you're farming sort of dragons and zygomites and everything. Once you've done that, you want to come north of Lumbridge, sort of between Lumbridge and Varrock, um, past the farm farm, uh, the chicken farm where if you're a noob at any point you probably killed chickens for a fair amount of time. I know I did back in like 2005. Um, so yeah, you just want to plant your hop, um, your herbs, not your herbs, your hop beans in the hop patch here and it instantly grows into grapevines. If you have the green finger Zora, it's definitely worth using as you can get a random chance of getting an extra bean. If you get an extra salmon bean, then that's like an extra 50k. Um, so yeah, you just want to pick the grapes from here, or the other thing it can grow is it can grow reeds, and then if you grow the reeds, you get the like toad sacks. Oh, here we go, here's some reeds. So you, you pick the reeds, and to save yourself on banking, you want to make sure you right click it and open them as noted. So then it just stacks as a note in your inventory rather than filling up your whole inventory having to bank all the time. Uh, you can just note your grapes on the tall leprechaun here. And then once you've done all your beans, you can head to the bank and make them into wines. So once you've got all the grapes or used all the beans that you want to use, you just want to use the grapes on an empty jug of water. Uh, click make and it will slowly make them into unfermented wine. Uh, after, I don't really know how long it is exactly, but it's about 30 seconds ish. It will then they'll transform into fermented wine and you get the big XP drop, there you go, 3.2k and they all have gone into their correct wines and then you can just put them in the bank and sell them as you need and it's great money making for something that doesn't actually require you to do anything easy. If you're doing player own farms for farming XP you're going to be getting beans from just trading your animals in there unless for some reason you're stockpiling hundreds and hundreds of your elder animals and you can just make some some of the money back or if you're doing some cheap stuff or don't know somehow doing it free then you can make a bit of profit off it but if not it's a great way to make a decent chunk of money in one go and it's something that will just build up over time and if you haven't checked your player in farm for a while or you've just been doing it and haven't looked at the shop for a while you've probably got a big big stack of beans you can do there which will be a massive amount i've got still like another 50k beans so i can make another seven mil again which is absolutely amazing for something that really doesn't actually take that much effort. So we've got here the total loot from the 100 beans, the 100 of the sun-dried beans. Um, you do have to make them into the wines, you get the grapes from the vines and then you have to make them into the vines. As you can see a vast majority of the money comes from the wine of the Saradamins because I have no idea why but they're 50k each which is a massive amount and then you get a bit from the wine of Zamis and a bit from the swamp toads. Um, but yeah, most of it comes from these wine and and as you can see from 100 I made 7.6 mil, which is 76k per bean, which is actually is pretty good for something which kind of just stacks up there while you're doing your player own farms and it's something that you can just basically get free money over time. Thank you very much for watching, if you did enjoy the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to come back and see any more of my content. Um, there's a link to my Discord server in the description down below, and until next time, see ya.